In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to make these super cute Easter Bunny wax seals and how to make the envelope too. So let's jump in. The first thing that I did was make some grayish colored wax and I didn't have any gray wax in a bead format. So what I did was I put some purple and I put some yellow in and purple and yellow are complement colors. So anytime that you mix complements, you're gonna get a more muted color and tone. And so the gray is a little bit on the purplish side, but it's still pretty gray. And it does take a while to melt in the spoon. So just be aware of that if you do use this spoon method to melt your wax. Then I just use a toothpick here and mix the two together. And after a while, I'm left with kind of this purplish grayish color. So the first thing that I'm gonna do are just two kind of dots um, here for my seal. So I did them one a little bit smaller and one kind of a regular size and I press them with two blank stamps. And these you're gonna wanna let them cool for like 30 to 60 seconds. Um, I also did some white ones. So again, different size of blank stamps. So I could have different sizes of bunnies and just press that into the wax and then let it cool completely. If it's sticking to the parchment paper or sticking to the seal, then that's a good sign that the wax is not cooled yet. Once all of these came off, the next part was to make the little bunny ears and bunny tails. So I did the little dot first, and then between each pour, I would wipe off the edge of the spoon with a paper towel. And this is kind of how I got the ears, was kind of like doing a dot and then pulling it at the end. And I just used my fingers, or you could use scissors, to kind of cut off those little tails. That's how it looks with a glue gun. I used crazy glue to attach this, and it did work, but I think next time I will just use a little dab of sealing wax, um, because it did take a while to dry. But I'm just putting the ears on here, and I just tried to choose ones that were close in size. Um, so I've got the two little white ears over the gray, and then I did the opposite for the other color. And because it's kind of sitting on the lip, that's why it took longer to kind of dry and get into place. So yeah, if I were to do it again, I think I'd attach it with sealing wax, but this did work. So if you did have any crazy glue around, you could do it this way as well. This is the, how I did the one that's showing its little tail. So I did the ears, but it's behind the seal. Um, and I let that dry for a while before I flipped it over so those wouldn't fall off. And then this last one was just the larger one, and this one was the one that stuck the best. Um, and it's because the ears were flat on the wax seal versus kind of overlapping the lip. From there, I just grabbed this ink pen and I just drew some eyes and a little nose. And honestly, you could, there's nothing necessarily special about this pen. I feel like you probably have a pen like this in your junk drawer in your kitchen that would work great. Um, so just do a test maybe on the back of the sill or on a little piece of sealing wax you have and just make sure it will write well. And this last step is I made the envelope. So I had a square piece of paper and you're gonna fold it diagonally one time. I'm using a bone folder to kind of get a nice press there and then I did it diagonally again. And this is so fun. This was my first time making this envelope but I just thought it was so fun that it's made out of paper. So then the two sides are gonna create a little triangle on both sides and fold that in. And then you'll fold the bottom up. So that's gonna be the little um, bottom portion. And after I got it all pressed and flat, you fold one more little triangle here. And then I'm using um, this glue dots, it's in like in a tape roll, and just rolling that around the areas that I need to stick. And from there, I'm folding the little triangle up and then the bottom flap of the envelope and just pressing it down, letting it kind of dry. And then the last step was folding down the flap. And so that was super fun. And maybe you guys have done that before, but that was my first time making an envelope just out of paper like that. And then I put in a little Easter note. And then I did use a glue dot to hold that paper down just so it was nice, like the flap of the envelope, so it was nice and secure. And then I used another glue dot on top of that, and that's how I attached my wax seal. I'm not mailing these. These are just going to be little gifts. And so um, the glue dot holds 
just fine, but it's super cute and super fun, and that's how they turned out. If you love wax seals and making them, definitely give me a follow and subscribe to the channel.